Howdy there, folks. How are y'all doing? My name is Reese, and welcome back to our Sev Tech Ages Let's Play Adventure Extravaganza of Awesomeness and Fun Times. I've built an observation deck to keep an eye on all of my hard-working little critters down here, and uh, actually, I was going to try to put a TP inside, but no matter how big I made the space, the TP wouldn't place. And it actually turns out that it has to have an open line to the sky, so someday we'll drill a hole straight through the ceiling there, or else we'll unlock beds. I still don't think we have beds. But I also wanted to show you something else I found swimming outside here. That guy! Yeah! I don't know how that happened. I have a theory that maybe the more of those trees there we plant, the more likely we are to have guys like this spawn, which is okay with me, because I'd like to get some more shadow critters. Still, though, the abyssal zombie is kind of useless. If I remember correctly, we killed a lot of these in episode 5, I think it was, and they didn't really drop anything useful at all. That one there didn't drop anything. Also, look at this crevasse with a bat in it. Wait a minute. How have I not been here before? This is immediately the deepest we've ever gone in this game. There is magma down here. Oh my gosh, and some red stuff. Get out of here, bat. Cool. Well, now we know this is here. We didn't know that before, and I guess really knowing is half the battle. And learning is a new adventure every day. Something like that. I don't know. Today, though, we're going to continue to progress forward. We're going to build a couple more things. Now, look, I've heard the cries. Fight Baycock. Do it. Just fight him. Be a man. I am not a man. I am a mouse. A very cowardly mouse. Just like that mouse from that movie. The Great Mouse Detective. Not the brave one. Not not the uh, Sherlock Holmes variant of the mouse. The other one, the the scared one. What was the little girl's name? I, like, I haven't seen that movie in a while. Honestly, I know a lot of people love it. I don't remember it being that good to begin with. So I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, other than to say I don't want to fight Baycock. Ah! Good gosh, that's freaking just... No. Just no, not today. So my heart rate is going much, much higher now. I've done some reorganizing over here. I've done just a bit of reorganizing. I've made slightly more room for the sheep, and we've got more sheep. I've also made slightly more room for the cows, and now we've got some full-grown buffalo. I did not realize that they were, like, little buffalo before, but they're a lot bigger now. And as you can see, they like the idea of wheat, but let's see if it'll actually do anything with them. Let's hop down here a little bit closer and start handing out wheat, I guess. I can't tell. I'm just in a mass of buffalo now. I'm just... What, what is going on? This is insane. Why are they so huge? Did, did they all get some wheat? Have they made baby buffalo yet? I cannot tell. I actually cannot tell. There's a little... Uh, yeah, look, they are making little buffalo. Oh, wow. Okay, then. Get, get me the heck out of here. How do I leave? Help me, somebody, please. I do need to kill some of these things. Because we need their teeth. But I'm hesitant to just start killing them. There we go. I don't want to kill all of them is the problem. Excellent. There's one dead. Did we get any teeth for that? We, did, we didn't. Oh, jeez. We're going to have to extract one somehow. Uh, didn't bring the lead with me. Problem is... Okay, there we go. That one's going to separate himself from the herd. That's the one that's going to die. Uh, I think I just killed multiples, but... We got a tooth. Okay, we just called half the population. But we've got a tooth at least, and there's a couple of buffalo left to reproduce and, like, restock the tank here. That's basically what this is. It's a stock tank for buffalo. Goodness gracious me. Get me the Shrek out of here. Got some cow pelts out of the deer, though. deal, though. I'm not sure if those came from cows, though, or just if that's what buffalo dropped. But, goodness, it's madness down there. Don't recommend going down there. Oh, I chiseled a block into this thing. I don't know if it's actually going to do anything, but there you go. It's... That's what it is. It's what it is is the way it is, if you know what I mean. Anyway, all of that because today we're building a gear, and of course a gear requires four buffalo teeth. But wait just a second, we're not just building a gear, we're building a mill, and that's gonna need... Oh no, we're built. Uh, does the mill need two gear? Wait, what? Hold on, why am I building a gear? No, we just need the one gear. Okay. Some of you might have noticed I also added an additional, additional shelf, I should say, and, and another chest. D don't worry too much about those things. It's not super important. Buffalo meat. Heck yeah, son. Just like my ancestors ate. Alright, so for the control here, we're gonna need sticks as well as stones. But don't worry any about your bones, because mills can never hurt you. We're also gonna need some cooked up stone, which I think I've got some of. We're also gonna need our grinder. Rip in pieces. Is this how you pick up a grinder? That is how you pick up a grinder. Good. Uh, for the gear, though. That's, that's actually what we need to build first, and that's just going to need some wood, which we have some of in here. I think I've got even more 
in the other room there because I've been grinding it up quite a bit lately. So, uh, wood, like so, in sort of a gear-like shape, but then we're also going to add the buffalo teeth for some reason. You know, the classical gear design where you put the buffalo teeth on a, a gear and... Shrek, what am I doing wrong? These buffalo teeth. Buffalo to bu mm, tooth. Does it have to be red cedar plank? That's not an issue. We do have a red cedar tree. And at least now I remember why we needed the red cedar. In fact... Aha! That's even what we got cooked up in here. Look at that. I was planning ahead without even realizing. Alright, red cedar planks specifically. Combined with teeth. That's gonna give us our gear. Yay! Is it gonna add any more surprises? Or is it actually gonna end here at mill? It looks like it might actually end... Cool, we might be at the end of this little journey of ours. So I think that goes... Here. And then... Let's see, mill. Is this is this hand crank only for the mill? It says like millstones, but I don't know. We might end up using it for other devices. Specifically, we don't have to build this, but ah, dang it. In order to use the mill that the game wants us to build anyway, we're going to have to have one, so we might as well just go for it. So I think it was like that. Yep. And then for the actual mill, we're going to have to make some stone slabs. Ah! Every time that happens! Every single time that happens! I get- oof! Just freaks me out! Okay, nobody panic. I think we're- Can we build that next level crafting device? I, I reckon we can. I don't remember what it was we needed that was sort of a barrier to building it, but whatever it is, I'm pretty sure we've got it now. Hey! We got the mill! Nifty. So, how does this work? Just plop that down and then hook this on there next to it? Oh. Right on. Okay, so if I put some, like, stone in there, and then I... Do I have to just keep doing that? Oh my gosh, this is gonna get tedious real fast. Did it work? No, it did work. I got a stone rod, everyone, as well as better with mods manual. You are too exhausted to- oh my gosh, that consumed like all of my hunger. Oh goodness. There we go. Alright, so we got two stone rods for that from Tinker's Construct, as well as a better with mods manual. Uh, the book of single. Wow. <laughs> that describes my life. Okay, now I remember. So crafting stump requires Sakura, Eucalyptus, or Dark Oak Wood. We don't actually have any of those at the moment. And I'm not really feeling like an adventure today. So, that kind of leaves us with two options here. We can either summon Bay Baycock, which could end horribly. Or we could attempt to build a flame-grilled goodness and advance the plot. Which might be the best option, because we've pretty much run out of options. Aside from this one. Which, hmm. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe let's just take a look at what's required to do this, see if we've got all the stuff that we need. Besides armor, obviously, which we don't have. Uh, let's see. It's literally called Chimes of Death. That's not pleasant. We need an eagle bone whistle and some... We got some wind chimes. We've definitely got that. Let's see if we've got an eagle bone whistle, though. What's that require? A bone and an eagle feather. Oh, man! Oh, they're... I was gonna say we don't have any, but they are spawned via to uh, ceremonies. Mm. Eagle dance. There we go. Um, rattle and wind chimes. We've got those. It'll infuse nearby parrots and turn them into bald eagles? Where am I supposed to get a parrot from? Have we ever even seen one? I've never seen a parrot. Sorry, but it looks like, unfortunately, that, that particular one's out of the question. Oh man, guess we'll just have to go through and, and build that hopper and start advancing toward the next stage instead of fighting a scary monster. Well, darn it, isn't that a shame. Oh well, I guess I'll just carry on like nothing terrible's happened here. We're gonna need some charcoal dust, which is a, in a millstone. We just get a bit of charcoal. I'm willing to bet we probably don't need a millstone for that though. Low grade charcoal can be grinded down into regular charcoal. Let's go ahead and do that, I suppose. Hop to it! Yes. Work, my little piggy! Work! And then maybe we can just put that back into the millstone. And he will go ahead and turn that into the dust? We might even have done this by accident before, I'm not sure. That would be really convenient. Because I don't want to have to go mill it, because the milling process... It's not all it cracked up to be. It requires a lot of hunger, and this requires basically no effort. Apparently we have done this before. 
Let's just try to do it with like four of them and see what happens. Yeah, this requires no effort on my part. You see what I'm talking about here, though, with that weird graphical glitch? He's definitely still attached. And in fact, if we right-click on the device here, we should get the lead. Yeah, hook him back on there. But that only happens when you leave and, and re-enter the world. How'd you do? Charcoal pieces. You failed me. You've absolutely failed me. I should have known better than to trust a pig. We'll mill it ourselves, then. Also, if I, like, spread it out, would it do it all in one go? That'd be interesting to find out, if we could do all three in one, because that would be a lot quicker. Also, we only need two. I don't know why I'm insisting on doing four. Also, it does it spit it out the top? If I put a chest on top of it, would it deposit the items into the top, or does it come out of the bottom? In which case, I could probably... Oh, also, we've only got one from that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here with this next one. Could we theoretically put a hopper underneath it and pull items out automatically? And I'm assuming there's a way to power this. Yeah, we just got the one there, so it's not going to do multiples at a time. Well, we only need two. So that's, that's fine by me. All the rest of this, I'm pretty sure I have now memorized the recipes too. Which is crazy to think about, because some of these recipes are bizarre. Uh, okay, well, maybe not the, the chest one per se. Because you just build a regular chest recipe and then put a rock in the middle. But the rest of them are kind of weird. Put a chest in the middle and then add a hopper shape. Okay, that one's not complicated either. Shouldn't be too proud of myself for remembering that one. The next one, though, I've already forgotten. So I know we need ring but what else do we need for cobweb sticks 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 i don't got no sticks we got eight sticks there's a ton of them in there as well that i could go get boom and with the cobweb i think that that's everything we needed there i think we just need cobweb bark and the hopper itself from memory now uh maybe something like this yay oh very proud of myself for that little moment of inspiration there. Finally, we'll need the red cedar planks and the shadow gem. We did get a shadow gem, didn't we? Yeah, we got the one shadow gem right there. Oh, no, we got two of them. Can we put one of them back? We only need the one, after all. Uh, apparently, we can't. Well, uh, we'll carry it around with us, and something horrible will inevitably happen, and we'll lose it forever, but hey, that's the way the rock rolls. All right, that. Then we'll need our charcoal dust. The gem up top, and then is it a V-shape? No, it's just the two red cedar planks along the top there. This is exciting. A lot of you are going to be excited about this one. We put this one off for a while. We're doing it wrong. What have we done wrong? Ah! Shark tooth. Again, I can't see things in the middle there. Okay, then. Shark tooth. Someone mentioned this in the previous episode. Okay, we can get it from straining. All right, that's not bad. Oh, but we don't have that particular type of strain. Or that one. Ah, but we do have a survival... Well, we can make a survivalist strainer. A collection general small-sized items requires a strainer base. Maybe we've gotten lucky. I don't remember what type of strainer we made last time. But let's just take a little swim down here and see what we got. Oh, oh, thank heavens. Ah, uh, we need to replace the strainer. We need a new one. I am so, so grateful right now. I thought that was going to put this entire episode on lockdown until we figured out how to get shark teeth. I've gotten a bit too daring, actually, with leaving this door open. Need to take care of that. Oh, goodness. Okay. We've got shark teeth now. Ugh. What a relief. Cool. So this is the hopper that... Yeah, look at that. I have created flame-grilled goodness. Pats on the back all around, everyone, for this one. This one's this is the one that we've been waiting for. Let's go ahead and take a look at our list of things to do next. Is this it? Is this the next era? You don't have liquid fuel, blah, 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 blah. Melter and a heater. Hmm. Oh, I see. From Tinker's Construct. Right on. We've got a couple of varieties. One made of porcelain and one made of... Let me see. The smaller version of the smelter you can smelt metals but cannot make alloys. All right. Porcelain. How do you get porcelain? You mill together white dye powder. Okay, which is just from a flower. And then also you mill together clay and flint, which we know how to get pretty easily. What about this model here, though, which just uses seared bricks? Seared brick. Okay, so can we make it here? We can if we have grout. And grout is going to be... That's a, that's a slightly easier recipe. Gravel and sand and clay are all things that we can get a lot easier than... I mean, it's not a hassle to grind up some flowers, but if we don't have to, and I don't think we have to... Mm, porcelain will not match the seared version. 
You'll need to match the melter and heater types for them to work together. Pour someone on. It doesn't say we have to build it, though. It just says craft a heater. Doesn't specifically say it has to be a porcelain variety. First off, though, I want to set this thing up. Ah! Okay! Look at that! So you shift, and then you, you right-click, and that picks up the kiln. Oh, that's crazy! Big shout-out to Anthony Tan for that tip. We've been needing that one. I guess we're done with this stuff, though. Okay, now here's the question I want to know. Can I put a chest in front of this, and will it hook up to that chest if I do? Because I don't want to have to put it in another level lower. That's that's not exactly going to be ideal for me. We're going to make one of the smaller chests for the sake of testing. Also, we don't really need a big one here for what we're going to do. If I place that there, will it hook up? It doesn't look like it's hooked up, like a traditional vanilla. Hmm. What if we what if we did it from behind? I'm going to break our perfect wall here for just a second. Can I just pick that up? Oh, well, look at that. That's strange. That's... Right. Okay, there we go. So it looks different back here. And it's hooked up to the chest. Oh, fantastic. All right. Uh, let's grab some actual stone to patch in that hole in the back. All right. So that hopper will not only heat up the kiln, but will also automatically deposit items into this chest. How many items can you put in a kiln at once? I know it only cook up one item at a time, but have we tried to put multiple items in at once? Mm, you can't, but we can put a hopper on top, as well as another chest. Yeah, let's do that. I think a small chest will do just fine. I don't think we'll need anything fancy. And then also we'll just build the sort of lowest tier basic hopper. We don't need anything fancy for this task either. Uh, we're gonna have to break the roof here, I guess. And then drop the chest up in the ceiling. And then we'll just put the hopper underneath it. This should work. No reason it shouldn't. Loading up the cobblestone. Hey! I just gotta fill in the hole that we've created in the floor here. We've advanced so much, my friends. Welcome to the new era. Now I just need to build a whole lot more of these, which means we'll need more... More shadow creatures. For right now, though, this is the one animated system we've got. Or, I, automated, I should say. It's a bit on the slow side, but for now, it'll get the job done. Let's do this next. Now, in order to build one of these melters, we're actually going to need to use a flame-grilled whopper. I'm not going to take that one out there, though, because we can make another one with our final shadow gem. I'm just kind of going through the recipe and making sure we're not going to need a shadow gem for anything else. It doesn't look like we will. However, clay barrel... Mm, that's just clay. Hmm, I just realized that we're running out of stone. I'm wondering if there's a recipe for that? Yep. Cobblestone in a crafting grid. Is that simply all it is? That's actually all, 100% all it is. Good. Alright, so I've got my flame-grilled whopper, hopper, whatever you, you prefer to call it. I've also got my primal chest advanced. And what was the third thing? Ah, another stone grill. The easiest of the three items. Final step here for the melter is going to be seared bricks, which is going to be just regular bricks, which is going to be a mixture of, of many things. I am grout, sand, gravel, and clay, all of which we just kind of have around here in different places. Sand, gravel, and clay. We don't have like an even count of all this stuff, but it doesn't matter. Is this the moment we're going to find out if, if it's actually going to combine all of these items together? Also, this is the moment we find out if it's just going to keep spitting it out on the ground. Maybe we should test my theory earlier of whether or not we can stick a chest on top of it. I, I don't think that we can. We'll probably have to build a hopper, put it underneath. But there are some items that'll spit, or some machines that'll spit items out up top. It's worth a shot. I mean, part of this shot does require that we dismantle a drying rack, but... Wait, did we not pick that? No, we did. I was going to say, uh, I sure hope we pick that back up. All right, so that's pretty close to going. Let's see what happens. Nope, it just spit it back out at us. What a shame. That gave us two grout, though. So we can go ahead and start cooking that up over here. That'll give us our bricks, and then we'll need four bricks. So for every two grout... No, wait. So for every sand, gravel, and clay, we'll get enough for half a brick. Or half a seared brick. And we need six of... Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, if I've done my math correctly, we should now have 
Just enough. Ba 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 ba. Oh wait, where where did this extra? But okay, so, okay, whatever. It just spits it out all over the place. So flame grilled whopper, or hopper. If you're so inclined. I, I get what they're doing. They're doing a they're doing a hungry jacks pun. Burger King, uh, as well. I think it's known, but I'm not. I'm not impressed by it. I'm just confused. It's clearly a hop. It's not a whopper. It's not a whopper. Boom, though. Are we into a next era? No. No, we're not. It wants me to also do the heater. You okay. Fortunately, this is just a matter of getting a bit of clay, which, wouldn't you know it, I've got some here. We're probably going to have to go find some more clay, and that won't be an adventure of any sort. It's a matter of walking outside with a shovel Digging up some clay. Go ahead and get that heated up and make the next one. Cool. All right. There's one clay barrel, and the next one's going to be coming. And then aside from that, it's just another stone grill. Once more, nothing complicated. We can build one of those real quick. And then we're back to this process. Okay, then. Here we go. I've already eaten all my carrots. Okay, now if I did my math correctly, and I'm pretty sure that I did... We only need 24 bricks in order to create, right? Because it's 6 times 4, and that's 24. It's like, how many hours are there in a day? Divided day? Yeah, look at that. My base level math has absolutely come in handy yet again today, proving itself to be an extreme asset to my life. Kids, don't argue with your math teachers. You need it to play Minecraft. I've never used it at work a day in my life, but Minecraft, oh boy, you need it. Everything just froze. Oh, Shrek. We've made it to age one, everyone. What is this, episode 11? We're just now here? Okay, time, not time to complain. Not time to celebrate. What? It, okay, we're just done. That's it, everyone. We've... Oh. Oh. Okay, look. Oh. 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 Hold on a second. Crafting. Wait a minute. Why does it have to be dark oak? Yeah, it's not giving me any other options. We have to go find Dark Oak. Move item? Oh, that's handy. Oh, Shrek. You've got to be kidding me. We have to go on an adventure. I don't want to go on an adventure, but look at that. <gasps> regular furnace. Regular chests. Look at the regular chests. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Oh. So before we can move on to that, we do still have whatever these two items are, and I guess we'll have to place those down and get a feel for them maybe back here because what else is going on back here nothing much there there you go we've also got materials in you the book every tinker needs by skyla handy so i believe the melter goes on top with a heater on the bottom and then we can put lick our solid fuels i suppose down beneath that what about just some low-grade charcoal uh, maybe, maybe not. What about, don't you have some charcoal? You got some little charcoal pieces. That's pretty handy, I guess. How do you feel about that? You want some little charcoal pieces? Maybe we have to prompt it into doing something. Can I put just cobblestone in here? I think we probably can. Um, three char- three cobblestone. Okay. Charcoal pieces. You wanna- You wanna do a thing? Can't be molten. Hmm. Looks to me like it can be molten. It, I'm looking at it being molten. Maybe it wants an ore. Maybe we should go find an ore. You know where we're going to find an ore? I'll tell you where we're going to find an ore. We're going to go to bed and then we're going to go into that crevasse. And we're going to go dig up our first ore. I don't, we don't have to go mining down here. This just seemed like the best place to go look for ore. And I'm not seeing any. Which is odd. Should be a lot of ore. It's Minecraft for crying out loud. Unless ore is different now? Salt ore, limestone? I don't know what that is. What did I just pick up there? Cooked bat meat? <laughs> okay, found some clay. Minecraft without ores looks weird. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, hi there, you. Wait, wait hold on. What's that? That's a bat. Well, geez, I don't know what to do. All right, well, exploration in the caves was an absolute bust. Could not find any ore down there. I guess the next thing to do is to just move on to the next age and keep pushing through? Maybe? I'd like to know what this was all about. Why I had to build a melter. But, okay. 
And before you ask, yes, I did just check all of the various survivalist things. And wait a minute. Dark oak. Might need to make a survivalist strainer. Okay. Maybe this is going to help us get some dark oak without me having to go on a grand adventure. Maybe it won't. Maybe what I ought to do is just get these worms out of here. Build a ton of these strainer bases, because why not? I might do that. I might go ahead and just build several of them down here on the ocean floor and see if we can't scavenge up some goodness. In the meantime, I gotta figure out where ores are and how to get your hands on them. Like in that movie. Fantastic ores and where to find them. Maybe I'll just go rewatch that movie. Try to figure that little mystery out. And then I guess when we come back, we'll continue down this little adventure. Trying to figure out what to build here first. Mm. Okay, well, until next time, thank you folks for watching. God bless you. I'll see you later. Bye!